Brian Salt is playing mind games with a cockroach leg. The inventor is trying to control the insect's limb with his brain. We're trying to build intuitive interfaces to the mind. Uh, we're trying to capture the thoughts that you're having and understand them to interface with software. Uh, we're working towards building a device that can build real objects with just your mind. And along the way, we're learning about neuroscience. Salt starts out with music, whose sound waves are similar to electrical patterns of the brain, to identify the frequencies that stimulate the cockroach leg. The waves bring the insect's muscles to life, the leg moves, and computer software keeps a record. What we do with the software is we capture how the leg moves to which particular stimulus. So we have lots of different wavelengths in the, in the music and we can find out which one will actually stimulate it in a controlled fashion. So in this way, the computer learns how to uh, control the leg. Once that lesson is learned, Salt dons a neuro headset that reads the electrical waves being emitted by his brain. The system is trained to read his thoughts. In this case, the waves created by the intention to move the roach's leg. So I captured how I'm thinking about pushing the leg and then when the computer detects that again, it then passes that information on from what it's learned about the cockroach leg to be able to control it. So we're controlling the leg with your mind. The ultimate goal, says Salt, is to develop software that will establish a direct connection between the brain and a computer. And that is already happening. Smile, and it's the holding of the muscles. Yeah. Salt is working with teenager Sergio Segel, who has invented a robot hand. They're using SALT's research to control the hand using mind signals. For example, we want to experiment with someone who has an orthopedic arm so they can move it with their head by thinking about it moving. It's incredible. And if successful, SALT says the technology could be transformative, particularly in the field of prosthetics, forging a potentially life-changing link between mind and machine.